everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Theorist, here with your host, JC Botero 67. As usual, we're taking a look at Tower of God, and today's focus is Season 2, Episode 274. So, the chapter just gets right into action, right at the beginning, because the blob monster is firing away attacks like crazy, and then one of the attacks is almost about to hit that bird. And so, Coffee Addict worries for it, because... According to him, if the champion villain dies, um, the quest basically becomes a fail, it seems. So Kuhn, being the smart man he is, puts a lighthouse around the bird to protect it. And he kind of got the idea like, hey, we shouldn't kill the bird just yet. Um, I'm pretty sure they would have to defeat the bird at some point to complete the quest. But right now, their main focus is that gigantic ass monster, okay? So the sooner they can get rid of that one, the better. And Coffee Addict is so adorable. He says here, you sure are quick. I like working with people like you. And Coon's response is, shut up. I don't even want to talk to you. And Rock says, me neither. So poor Hansung, the data human version of Hansung, is getting all this hate. I mean, he can't help it that in the future he becomes who, who, he, who he is today, you know? So anyway, we go back to Bomb and Big Breeder. And so we get kind of like a little recap from last chapter. Because uh, at the end of last chapter, we saw that Bomb's Shinzu was dissipating due to this attack that Big Breeder put on him. And so that causes Bomb to like start falling. But Androsi teleports from wherever she is through her bong bong to help catch him. And this actually impresses Big Breeder. He's like, whoa, that's like teleportation or whatever. I'm like, boy, have you never seen this before in your life? Whatever. Um, <laughs> so anyway, his attention then turns to Battis, who just shot him with a bullet. Granted, he didn't shoot him, shoot him. You know, he missed. But it was, it was close enough to hitting Big Breeder. So that was good, good effort on, on Battis' part. Uh, and it turns out that these bullets can actually destroy data humans. They were actually given to Battis by Big Breeder. Uh, don't know why, don't know how, don't know the backstory to that, but that that's the story that we are given here. So Big Breeder is basically bragging like, oh, okay, yeah, like those bullets could kill me, but what good would it do if it doesn't hit me because I'm d dodging all these bullets, right? So because of this cocky ass attitude, Bomb orders Androsi pretty much to help grab a bullet and, and strike Big Breeder with it. So then that can kill him off and it just makes it easier for them to get to that door that they have to get to. So Androsi does that and she does a pretty excellent job. I mean, she shot him clean through the head, but did it work? Of course not, because freaking Big Breeder's a piece of shit. So it turns out that he lied partially. The bullets will work on other data humans, but they don't work on him. So my suspicions are that because... All right, let me start over. So last chapter, we found out that this is like a fake version of Big Breeder. And Big Breeder is elsewhere, which I will reveal a little later in this chapter where he is. But anyway, I think that's kind of the reason why it wouldn't work. So... If you want to call this person, like, a clone of his, or maybe, like, a realistic-looking hologram, then may maybe that's what this fake Big Breeder is, and hence why the bullet wouldn't work on him. He also ends up saying to Battis that he knows nothing of this world like he, Big Breeder, does. And then he soon orders the chief, who is D, to come up to where he is. And, oh yeah, I totally miss this part. So because he didn't get shot in the, or he didn't die because of the shot to his head, he actually took the opportunity to stab Bomb on the right side of his chest. That was also a, a key pointer there. And then of course Androsi comes in to save him before he falls again. Poor dude. So then we get a glimpse of where he is. And he's actually with Rachel right now. Rachel uh, was in that bed behind that one guy that we saw, right? So that is the actual big breeder, a.k.a. Chung. 
uh, and and he has like a like a screen in front of him where he's seeing everything that's happening with Bomb and Co. So now we get to the part where he is mentioning the chief, calls her up to where he is, and she obeys, of course. And then he points out that this is, or this was, Battis's wife. So we can conclude now that Dee and Rose are the same person. So then, oh, okay. So she doesn't seem to remember. Um, of course, as we know, uh, Big Breeder were, was always, like, erasing people's memories for fun. So he may as well have just done it with this woman. And, I mean, she didn't realize that she was married to Battis. Obviously, probably doesn't even know about her own daughter, which is really sad. So, anyway, Big Breeder goes on to ask her, If I told you to die, would you? She's kind of appalled at this. Then he asks her the same question. And I don't know what he does to her, because it seems like she's being mind-controlled, because her eyes start to glaze over. And when she's asked if she wants to die, she responds with a yes. Which, I mean, no one in their right mind would say yes, but, like I said, mind control of some sort is happening. So, Bomb, being the courageous man he is, is like, hey, leave her alone. And Drossy's like, this woman is just Data. She's not going to really die. Um, or I guess she says it doesn't matter if she dies. Which, of course, to Bomb, it matters. Um, and then, of course, to Battis, it matters. Um, it was a woman from his past. It was his wife, it turns out. So anyway, Battis, in an attempt to save his wife, tries to shoot at Big Breeder again. But Big Breeder, being the piece of shit that he is, puts Rose, or D in front of him, and she's the one who takes the blow. So then we end up seeing the real Big Breeder laughing, and Rachel just gets fed up with his ass. And she finally catches his attention and she's like, hey, like, why are you laughing? Why don't you answer when I call you? Who are you? And why the hell was I lying here? And that's basically where the chapter ends. So yeah, so I'm curious to know what answers he'll give her and honestly how, how things are going to go down between the two of them. You know, with that hidden, like, stingray thing that she has in her possession will she be able to use it now will she be able to defeat this man um whether it be to injure him and get the heck out of there or whether it be that she ends up killing him and of course i mean i think we're all in agreement here that we are dying to know who um what zahard looks like um getting to meet the zahard of this uh not floor of death. I always want to say floor of death. Hidden floor. <laughs> I, th I think we would all like to see him. And, um, you know, what, what's his deal? What's his connection with Big Breeder and all that? So, other than that... Oh, yeah, and then we have to see what will happen with D. You know, is there a chance that she can come back? Or is she just going to be gone forever? Um... And, and if she were to die next chapter, I would hope that um, Battis would be able to, like, catch her as she's falling and just hold her during her last moments of life. And, you know, hopefully she would remember. And, um, you know, hopefully she would get a glimpse of her daughter as well. You know, a sad moment, but it would be a slight little bit of happiness within it if she got to spend it with her family around her. Um, speaking of that little girl, I don't know what happened to her during this whole, like, bomb versus big breeder thing. Um, you know, ho hopefully she's somewhere safe <clears throat> and didn't just, like, fall to the ground or anything. I'm, I, I'm certain she's okay, but yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. Please, again, I encourage you guys to leave, you know, your theories below in the comments because I would love to see what your guys' thoughts are and, and what your predictions are for uh, the next upcoming chapters and, you know, any predictions on, on certain characters and such. Oh, we also have uh, that one new sworn enemy to look forward to as well. We didn't see him at all this chapter, but hopefully next chapter, you know, he'll kind of show up in the village or something. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Thanks guys for tuning in and I'll catch you next week. Peace.